What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for November already. The series we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price, with this episode being more setup themed, finding gadgets to improve your setup. If you see anything you like, I'm going to have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But first, shout out to last month's winners. I've been in contact with you so you can claim your tech from last month's episode. And if you guys want to win today, all you got to do is drop a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment on what your favorite item is and why you liked it. Then third, make sure you're subscribed. I'm obviously only going to pick subscribers. And because of the holidays, we're going to double the winners this month, as well as give you guys a chance to win a free PS5 Pro. But more on this in a little bit. Now, like I said, with the holidays coming up, First is a really good gift idea, I'd say. For the Xbox or PlayStation lover in your life, don't you wish you could just put a screen in your controller? Well, now you can with these officially licensed clocks from Paladone. These controllers are the perfect addition to your desk, the nightstand, entertainment setup, letting you rep your favorite consoles with these clocks built into the controller. It shows the date, the time, you can also set it as an alarm. And again, since these are actually officially licensed, they're an exact one-to-one -one replica of an actual controller. So it's not gonna look cheap or cheesy, you know? The clock is backlit, so you can see the time easily, and it's powered by USB, so you don't have to worry about using batteries or plugging this into the wall. You can just plug it into a dock, your PC, or hell, even your console, and it'll still power it. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there with a console at your desk, so you can just keep it there, off to the side, catch the time at a glance, or keep it chilling on an entertainment center, and it's going to fit in perfectly. Again, I can see this being a really cool gift idea. They're both under $25 as well, not going to be breaking the bank at all. So pick up either the DualSense clock for the PlayStation fans or the Xbox controller and scratch someone off the holiday gift list. And to go right along with that clock, who wants a free PS5 Pro? You're not going to want to miss out on this giveaway, all thanks to today's sponsor, Whatnot. Whatnot's an online social marketplace where you can discover some of your favorite products like sports cards, Pokemon cards, different tech and electronics, and tons of other things, all with these rapid fire auctions happening in real time. My next stream is going to be a massive one with $1 auctions for tons of peripherals like top headsets of the year, the latest and greatest gaming mice, and the top rated Hall Effect gaming keyboards all up for grabs starting at just $1. All this tech and more, plus the free PS5 Pro giveaway, will be during my next WhatNot stream on Saturday, November 23rd. I'll be live at 7 p.m. Eastern, right on the WhatNot app, so you can come by, hang out, bid on a bunch of things at a dollar, and like I showed, some big giveaways that you're not going to want to miss out on. I'll have a sign-up link for you guys down below, as well as just a QR code on the screen if you want to scan that instead. When you sign up, you get $15 off your first purchase as well, so it's going to be a massive, massive show, some great giveaways, great tech. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Next up's a nifty little gadget for the desk setup. This little dock acts as a USB pass-through to power your peripherals and connect them to your PC at the setup, as well as being able to charge your mouse or your keyboard at the same time. With this, it's all about convenience, and I really dig it. So checking it out on this dock, built into the base is a clip to attach it to your mouse pad. That way it's just right there at an arm's reach, and it won't slide around on your desk. And it also has a touchpad up top to cycle through the RGB lights on the strip, so you can match it to the rest of your setup or a certain color theme. But it also comes with a detachable little magnetic cable that once connected to your dock, lets you use a magnetic adapter to then easily slide your mouse into and it'll begin charging, letting you always keep your peripherals charged up at the end of the night so the next day it's ready to go at 100%. I miss when some mice had their own dedicated docking stations. This is the next best thing with some added functionality. Then still right there, you have the two USB A's and a USB C in the middle, where you can just plug in like a flash drive, a headset, wireless dongles, or other peripherals and have it all easily powered and connected. And you can really put this wherever. I mainly use it off to the right side of my mouse pad up in the top corner there, so it's you know neatly out of the way and not clashing with my other gadgets. And I just think it's a cool little convenient way to keep your peripherals charged up and powered at the same time. It's under 30 bucks, so another affordable pickup, and I think it's a great little addition to the gaming setup if you need a dock like this. Now, if you like that idea, but you're a Logitech fanboy, then I've got something else that might tickle your pickle. This is a dedicated power play dock that also has additional pass-through ports, including a brightness and volume dial built into the front, letting you adjust your PC settings at an arm's reach for under $30 as well. So like the last one, but a bit different. Now it says it's made exclusively for Logitech mice since they have the magnetic power play pucks. 
And say if over the years you've lost your power play puck, or you just use a Teflon one, they actually have a charging puck built in underneath that you can now use and it'll all charge wirelessly on that magnetic pad. You just have to make sure you're using the magnetic puck for it to charge properly. That's power play. Then with those two ports on the back side of the dock, again, plug in your dongles, whatever you want, and you're good to go. So with that volume dial on the front, that's definitely a nice little bonus in itself to be able to just adjust volume on the fly, but you can also actuate it in and then it switches to brightness control. Now this doesn't really have much of an effect on your desktop PC, but if you use this with like a gaming laptop or on a Mac, this will adjust the brightness of your screen as well. So just another cool setup gadget, like I said, also under $30. I love finding tech like this that has multiple different use cases and features all aimed at improving your setup. And moving right along, this is a hell of a deal as well. This is a 7.8 inch 1280 by 400 IPS monitor that is the perfect little desktop companion for having that extra screen real estate right at $50. And since it's so thin and compact, there's a lot you can do with this in terms of mounting or where you wanna put this. Checking it out on my setup, I love finding you know extra displays like this that I can use for secondary programs like Discord, Spotify, Wallpaper Engine, just to pretty much act as like a HUD for quick and easy control of programs that don't need a full monitor's use. Like being able to just throw Spotify on here has been awesome. But if you want to use this for your PC with like IDA64 to monitor your temps and speeds, you can. IDA64 is actually like one of the main go-tos with displays like this. And there's tons of wallpaper engine interfaces that's gonna look great on here for being a clock or a music player. Plus all the countless of other use cases like being able to use this as a panel for color correction while editing, audio production plugins, or for software with EQing. Visually, I'm just showing you guys a bunch of different examples on screen so you get the idea. And I'm sure you can really get creative with how you wanna use this with your setup. It's recognized in your PC display settings, so you can set this in relation to your other monitors, flip it, make it vertical, anything like that. I've seen these used in a bunch of people's PCs online, like internally. So if your case allows for that and it's useful to your workflow, then that's just another bonus. Again, just $50. I think it's a really good price for a screen like this. That's so versatile. It could definitely take your productivity to the next level. This is probably going to be a pretty popular one this episode, so I'd hop on it while it's in stock. Now this next one isn't a piece of technology, but it's for your tech, especially at the setup when it comes to keeping everything neat and organized. This is the IKEA Scotis, or Scottis as we say in the States, an extremely versatile pegboard that you can rearrange and build up to stay organized while still keeping everything right there for you. Declutter your desktop and have it all mounted on your wall instead. I've used one of these in the studio for years now, and I'm sure some of you remember it from my setup tours, and it's been really helpful, holds all my custom keyboard accessories. And speaking of which, they make containers, shelves, different hooks and holders, clips and trays, you name it, they have an accessory for it that lets you easily mount it to the board. And if you go on Pinterest, you'll find thousands of different configurations that people use this for. They're everywhere, in the kitchen, the dorm room, office, pantry, garage. This can be used pretty much anywhere and for so many different things, which is why it's so popular. You know, rightfully so. But for that bedroom desk setup, as I'm mainly showing for you guys with different peripherals here on display, just to give you a visual example, it's a great way to keep that desktop decluttered, neatly, and organized by having it off the desk and now in its own space when not in use. They also make these in a bunch of different sizes and colors, so you can really take advantage of matching this to your setup theme. The only catch I'll say here with this is if you don't have an IKEA store near you, it's stupid expensive. Like on Amazon, the board itself is $50, where in the store, it's like half that. So what I'll do for you guys, if you wanna pick something like this up, is just put an alternative kit down below that has different boards and accessories instead of just the Scottish board from Amazon. Again, if you have an Ikea near you, much cheaper to buy in person, but if not, I've still got you covered. And then lastly for today, especially with the cold winter months now upon us, is gonna be this heated desk pad. This 31 and a half by 13 inch extended mouse pad, is gonna be a pretty cool solution if you tend to get really cold hands or if you work in a cold office. And yes, I think it's much more suited for the office or the work setup. Wouldn't really recommend this for gaming because that PU leather material isn't gonna be you know, ideal for your gaming mouse feet. So I'd say an office solution here. On the top left side is a power button. And this has three different heating modes of the internal coils that makes this desk pad get pretty toasty. The highest setting orange can get around 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Middle setting blue gets to around 115, and the lowest setting, green, is around 105 degrees. 
Now, yes, that sounds really hot, but the internal heating sheet has a leather layer and then a protective film up top, so the heat is being spread evenly inside, so the surface to the touch isn't nearly hot enough to hurt or burn you. Also, it's not gonna damage your peripherals. Again, I know 120 degrees sounds hot, but it's not gonna melt your desk or your tech. And it also has an auto shutdown timer for protection. I bought this back in August when I was gonna do a back to school tech video, and I've been testing it since, so I wouldn't show off something that's gonna, you know, melt your stuff. Little bonus addition too, it's a nice way to keep your coffee mug warm at the desk. So there you go. It's only about $25, again, could be a good gift idea for someone as well. And if you don't like the all black leather look, they actually do make these in a ton of different patterns and prints. So if you want to design on yours, I'll put some different options in the description for you guys also. So all right guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech under $50 for November with the special setup theme. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, show your support, and drop a comment down below. Do you like themed episodes? Do you like just more general tech? Want to hear your thoughts. Feel free to follow me on all socials at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.